Yo, what up, everyone? Crypto Marxist, aka Bo Army, coming at you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check out the Pepe chart. See if their holder count is holding up. Last I checked, it was at about a hundred and eight thousand holders. And um, on top of that, uh, Coinbase has been mysteriously tweeting a countdown. So people are speculating this is completely rumor, not founded, unfounded. In fact. Uh, rumors that maybe Coinbase will be listing Pepe in the next couple of days. I believe they're on countdown day number two. Um, yesterday was three. Today is two. Um, tomorrow will be one. And maybe Friday will be a listing. Okay. That is what people are speculating. So if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that sub. Welcome. Make yourself at home. We're going to talk about crypto. NFTs, all that good stuff. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about Pepe coin, the most viral coin, and with the coin that, in my opinion, is going to be the king of meme coins, okay? Overtaking and flipping Dogecoin. So if you like content like that, like I said, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and help me with the algorithm. Hit a like, and of course, hit that bell because some of my stuff is time sensitive and urgent all right let's go ahead and get into the chart real quick so um analyzing this and looking at some of the the stats the total liquidity sits at about 10.46 million dollars market cap 652 million dollars you guys know the circulating supply is 420 trillion 690 billion tokens um and of course the holders sit at let's go ahead and go to um ether scan to get a more accurate reading and the holders are wow 114,143 so that is actually really cool because um at one point um it, they were they had stopped so this is actually indicating an increase so even though the entire global market the crypto market is down um we can definitely check out some of this stuff here. Let's um, let's come over here to uh, CoinGecko real quick, and um, let's see what what's going on over here. So actually, you know what? Last time I checked, it was down. The global crypto market today is up, not one percent, but 04 percent. So almost half a percent. Although Bitcoin is down in the past hour, the Ethereum is down, BNB is down, USD, C, Biden coin down, XRP up actually about the same as the global market cap. And, and the, look at this chart looking really nice. Cardano up about 0.3. You got Lido down, Doge down, Solana down. Polygon, so a lot of a lot of projects down, um, but we do know that out of those projects, okay. Let's look at the volume, though. We know Pepe is definitely up here with the big dogs, and it shows it's actually down because it went up so much. But look at this chart trading sideways, and what appears to be a dip that occurred here and a potential reversal happening. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and check out um a couple of points that i want to show you guys so this resistance support line has been holding for the most part it's been breached a couple of times tested tested broken flipped into support bounced up hit this top overhead resistance came back down and now appears to have broken down. So right now, the chart looks pretty bearish, in my opinion. Okay, here, let's look at, let's look at it wider. And it's actually, this is, of course, a two hour. Let's look at, let's look at the, all right. So we have a potential wedge forming right here, though. Okay, so as long as this maintains here, and we have a, the parabola is actually hitting the parabola right now for the first time. So this right here is a parabola that I had found 
Okay, here, let's go ahead and make this smaller so you guys can see it right here. So this is what I'm expecting. This is what I'm expecting. Okay, boom, look at this. So we'll see. We'll see if that turns out to be true. Actually, this could be a little lower, but regardless, it don't matter. We have an accumulation zone right now, which I have at, um, what's this? This should be down now to, well, below 1700 is an accumulation zone, but it's so low right now, it's actually at 1550. So I should bring this down or create one. Um, just to indicate, this is basically the main resistance that we're going to have to battle, though. So I don't want to move this. I we I just want to show you guys that we are in an accumulation zone. If this dips down to um, probably below 14, honestly, is what I would say is an extreme accumulation zone. Although I have this between 400 and 500 million being the accumulation extreme accumulation zone and it barely dipped down here a couple times it could still potentially go down as you can see we have a downward trend and this is only from the from the top wicks right here i believe it was the four hour this is the two hour so they're not really touching let's go to the and if and in fact we can look we can actually look this isn't yeah Look at that. So we'll see if this ends up turning out. So I see a couple points right here that could hit, hit but we have um, a full candle going down right now, breaching, like I said, that um, resistance and uh, now actually making it a resist, flipping the support into resistance as it's going down. So we'll see if this actually breaks this parabola here. The parabola should be at this point right here, though, to be honest. So that would be the 18th. That would be the 18th. We should move this a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit right to that point right there. Okay, cool. Let me see how off it. Oh, that's actually still hitting. All right, cool. So we'll see. We'll see if this ends up... Uh, turning out to be true because we do have this extreme dip that occurred. It was a, a, a retrace from after reaching all-time highs at about 1.6, $1.7 billion. The market was down. We got flooded. There was a Bitcoin sell-off and even rumors of higher sell -off sales. Um, Coinbase flooded the project. So all that occurred, and that's what, where we had this extreme sell-off. Even though we had buy pressure trying to buy it back by the dip, the, the sell pressure was too much. And, in fact, it, it went down about, um, what was it? It went down about 60% or something like that. Like, it, it went down a lot. So and it's been it's been going down. This was the low. This was the absolute bottom right here. It shot back up. This what right here was about where Elon tweeted. It shot back up. And the market's been really choppy. Bitcoin has not been able to pass thirty thousand dollars. Ethereum has not been able to pass two thousand dollars. Um and that's been actually hold. And of course, we have um, the SEC looking at potentially going after a lot of assets, creating uncertainty in the market. Um, on top of that, we have the debt ceiling, which is that battle is going on in Congress right now, which if the ceiling isn't raised, could potentially cause um a type of collapse in the economy because some bills will not be paid basically so to make it simple um that being said right now we have extreme volatility in this project as you guys know and that's part of the reason why it is attractive because it is extremely undervalued right now pepe has been able to do what shiba inu was not able to do what Ethereum was not able to do, 
what Bitcoin was not able to do and what Dogecoin was not able to do in one month, which is reach or breach the one billion dollar market cap. So don't forget, we are so early in this project. This is not financial advice, but it is me telling you what I do if I was you telling you what I'm doing. So that being said, you guys know I've been buying the dip. I got um, my initial goal of at least one billion um, Pepe. So go ahead and get you some Pepe and become a, a Pepe billionaire right now that the prices are low and we are able to do that. And in fact, based on what's happening right now, it is a potential larger dip that could occur. We do have the extreme accumulation zone if this potentially just dumps into this extreme accumulation zone i would say it's one of those once in a lifetime opportunities because um it's really going to be a, a really good entry point this is like i said one of the most undervalued projects but i believe it's going to reach not only 10 billion not only flip dogecoin but i believe during the next bull market pepe will reach will be the first meme coin to reach 100 billion dollars yes i know it sounds ridiculous it sounds ridiculous coming out of my mouth to be honest it sounds ridiculous me hearing it but you know what <clears throat> uh doge was able to reach an 88.8 .8 billion dollar market cap based on some of the research i did um, if you know the exact number go ahead and put it in the comments but if that was if doge was able to reach 88.8 .8 million dollars what makes you guys think that the future king of meme coins isn't going to be able to surpass that and become the first to reach 100 billion dollars because i believe it, it's going to flip doge this year for sure maybe by this summer after all this foot is done if Robinhood lists it. If Coinbase lists it, the 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 FOMO is gonna start kicking in. And look, I even have a FOMO zone right here because I already know once once the uh, about a, a billion billion is around here. I think twenty four. I forgot which one. Um, you guys already know what's gonna happen. It, it, it it's a no brainer. So that being said, Crypto Marxist, aka Bone Army, coming at you. Go ahead and um. If you got any value from this, help me with the algorithm and do me a huge favor. Donate a like. Do that for me right now. And, of course, my stuff is time sensitive. So, you know, know the gang. And as I always say, I'm Bone Army. You're Bone Army. We are Bone Army. If you have any ideas, reach out. And uh, I'll be bringing you that banger content as always. And I'll be hitting you with some more Shibarium stuff as well because, um, they are coming out with a cold wallet, and we got the Pepe Army right here. We got buy opportunities. Do not get flooded out of your bags. Do not lose. Do not paper hand your way out of this. Every dip, just go ahead and put a little bit, you know, what I mean? and not financial advice, not telling you what to do, just telling you what I do. If I was you, telling you what I'm telling my, my peoples around me to do, because this isn't just your average uh, shit coin. Okay, this is just your average meme coin. The community is so strong with Pepe that I believe this is one of the main paradigm shifts in meme coin culture. All right, man. Appreciate y'all. And I'm out.